Hello, I'm going to show you how to get your Microsoft Xbox 360 wireless network controller receiver to work on your Windows 8. This is Windows 8, as you can tell. Boom. And this is my thing right here. It says I know the device. It should say. What you want to do is go here and download your Xbox 360 wireless controller and look it up on Google. And you want to download the latest one, the Windows 7 32 bit, 64 bit. If you want to know which one, which bit you have, you can go on Control Panel, System, System again, and then set it right here. So I'm 64 bit. Now you want to uh, download it. So I already downloaded it into my thing right here. Double click it, and then you want to install it. Once it's done installing, click finish. You exit out all this. And now you want to go to your device manager. To get to your device manager for Windows 8, you can just go onto your Windows screen by pressing the start menu and typing in device manager and then clicking settings. And boom. Okay, you have to read administrator. Now you gotta right click the unknown device and click update driver software. Click browse my computer and let me pick. Now for some people it'll come out as Microsoft or it'll come out as on the Xbox 360. For me it comes out here. So click Xbox 360 peripherals and then click next. Now it's going to be trying to retrieve a list of the devices. For me it popped up because I did it before. But for you it may be a little different. So for you you want to click have have disk browse and you want to go to your to C program files Microsoft Xbox 360 accessories and then click this thing click OK and all these will pop up now all you really need is the wireless receiver so just double click the wireless receiver and click yes and then install and boom you're done and if you want to update it again, I think you do this. I'm not really sure. I never really updated it. But you want to update it again, you're going to click the newest version, which is, I'm not even sure. One of these two. I think it's this one. So I'm going to click that one. And boom. And then that's it. So to prove to you that this works, I have a PS2 right here. I mean, it's the only way I know how to prove it. I'm not really sure. And I have. I'm gonna connect my 360 right now. And uh, what was it? That only popped up. I connected my 360. And I click press buttons here. As you can see, it's like working. And it even says ABX. Um, also, uh, it was it was installing while I was doing it, which is probably why it was lagging a little bit. So triangle is Y, and as you can see, it's working pretty well. Also, it should be installed here. I don't really know where it is. Usually, when you connect the 360, it will pop up. That little circle thing, you don't usually see it here, but I don't see it. So, but there you have it, and it's fixed. If you have any questions, please post them in my comment. Like the video if it helped. Share if you need other people to see it. Ciao.